Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over the second track off of the supposed wedding album tracklist, a fan-made wedding album tracklist called Cartoon Heart. This is literally Charlie Brown, but with an accordion version, so yeah, I don't know if I will be doing a separate review of Charlie Brown, but we'll see in the near future, but for now, we're going to be doing this one. Um, I'm in a different place, so there's no face cam, and I'm a little bit more quiet than usual, but yeah, how we usually do these reviews, if you're new here, like I react to the song, give it my thoughts, and rate it. Um, if you like Coldplay, subscribe because like I can I do these videos like twice, one or two times a week. So, um, yeah, yeah, I have to mute the audio because I got priority issues. So I'm sorry for that. But let's go. Uh, yeah. <sighs> sorry um so with this first with this first um whole minute of the song it starts off with this little um acoustic guitar riff that goes on into this accordion sound type and then the whole first verse devolves into this um it's a slower pitch and a slower rate but and more acoustic than the original charlie brown so i think that's cool i mean this was from the writing the wedding album so um, no wonder it's acoustic, but yeah, pretty cool, basically just saying, hmm, what do the lyrics say, let's see, um, yeah, I, I don't know what it's talking about, but I think it's like, just trying to live freely in this apocalyptic, apocalyptic world, I think that's what it's trying to, I think, I think that's what it's trying to, um, what's it called, imply that you're just trying to live freely in this apocalyptic world, so, I think, I don't know. Let's keep going. Okay, so then there's this second verse, which is, which with this verse, it kind of picks up the pace and kind of matches it with the original song from Milo Zylodum. Um, with this one, it's, um, with this second verse and chorus, you just, uh, it basically talks about how you're just trying to live, like, exactly what I was saying, just trying to live freely and just uh, try and make yourself glow in the dark, trying to make, just run wild, live freely. That's the whole tone, that's the whole tone of the song, I'm guessing, so... Yeah.
this song you can kind of tell this has really no electric guitar which in the wedding album with the wedding album songs i don't think really any of them in you know, the track list i have i don't think really any of them have an electric guitar in it but i think that's pretty cool because it's a mostly acoustic album like wedding albums acoustic not gonna lie um but i'm noticing with this one there, you can hear like i think with this demo you can just hear the song so clearly you can hear the guitar so clearly and the piano in the background as well i forgot to mention that in the last verse you can hear the piano a lot more in this song, so I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool that like, the whole theme of the wedding album was supposed to be an acoustic thing, but well, we never really got to see it, so let's keep going. So with this little interlude right here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. With this little interlude right here, you can kind of just, it, it like if you had a song, you like you could clearly hear the piano there in the background. It's just this, I don't know what I'm talking about, my bad. So before I continue with that last little part we have there, um, with this with this chorus or with this outro right here, uh, you like in the original Charlie Brown version, the actual release version, like you had this huge blow up at the end of it. With this one, it's just it really doesn't. It really tries to reach a climax. It just doesn't here, which I think is a little bit weird. But okay. And, like, it really, really, really tries to reach a climax on this song. It just never really succeeded because of only the guitar, and the acoustic guitar and the piano with it. So it really didn't reach its full thing. The bass is there. The, the electric guitar is really not, which is kind of which is kind of the whole bass of the whole thing. I, I, don't, I don't know, but just... It, I think it just tried too hard to be, like, a climax, and it just didn't work out. So I feel like they could have just... I don't know what they could have done, but eh, I don't know. So if you ever heard that last little piano part right there, this this song and the reason also the reason why it got changed to Charlie Brown, this little piano part in the back of it here, um, it's basically it takes, I don't know, but this one like literally takes um what's it called? It takes influence from Peanuts or inspiration, um where Charlie Brown was. That's what it's called. This this uh song was eventually called Charlie Brown because this little piano part. It really just, it ha it reminded me so much of a Charlie Brown Christmas, which, yeah, with that being the whole reason why the song changed, I mean, that's fine, but given how, like, in Charlie Brown, everything's lively, everything's, um, everything's fun, everything's in color, I think with, with this right here, this is what they tried to do, and they found a different idea and executed that one instead. So with Cartoon Heart, this was never, this was kind of abandoned right here with the accordion type sound. This was really abandoned after all that. After the after the little piano part was developed, they changed the name to Charlie Brown and turned it into that upbeat, awesome song of Milo. But yeah, it really took it really took inspiration from Peanuts, which I think is pretty nice. I think it's pretty nice. So. Yeah, I'm rambling here because I really don't feel good right now. But yeah, I'm gonna give this song. I'm gonna give this song a good four out of five. This was really enjoyable, but I I get like in some aspects there there's flaws, but otherwise not that bad of a song. I like it. Four out of five. <laughs> 